Hi everyone and welcome back to today's Morning Report with me, Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Hantech Markets for Wednesday the 19th of March. The final chart of the day we're going to look at today is gold and uh, certainly in light of the um, the last few days where risk appetite uh, around uh, global markets has improved, gold has significantly fallen away. Um, I think uh, this is the daily chart. Still, um, this is just, I think, uh, a correction within the... Um, the big uptrend uh, that we've been developing since December. Um, you've also got, I think, very close now is the 21-day moving average. Now, this has been the basis of support throughout uh, 2014. Uh, it's been used on numerous, numerous occasions as the basis of support. And once more, um, I think it now could be that basis of support. 1343.26 is the current level of that 21 day moving average and uh, that is certainly a, an indicator we need to keep an eye on if that starts to break down. Um, the uptrend currently uh, on this chart comes in around about 1325 so there is still scope for a correction um, within, this, uh, within this current uptrend. Um, as I said yesterday the breakdown, um, the uh, keep an eye on the RSI, uh, which has now once, uh, as I said, broken below that 60 level, which was um, sort of the the level that it reached um, uh, through the recent correction. Uh, it's now be below that, which certainly gives us a warning signal. Uh, also, the stochastics falling away that also gives us a warning signal. Um, so we could we could ultimately see this correction go further within this uptrend. As I said, 1325 is basically where that basically where that uptrend currently comes in on the daily chart. Moving intraday, uh, you'll see um, that you've got this this is the uptrend that's been in place since early February, which is a different uptrend um, to the uh, larger uptrends in place since uh, December, but still this is uh, this has now been broken, this uptrend. So that puts us now back into um, what we'd been seeing as this uh, support band um, between th uh, 1328, 1329 and 1354.80. Uh, um, so we're back into that, uh, that band of support now. The, uh, the broke that since I've written the morning report, uh, the, the 1350 support has been breached, um, which now suggests that we're going to get a test of that 1340. Well, 1340, uh, 1337 is the, the key sort of support band within that, um, but you've also got this support around 1345. So just be, just bear in mind for those two levels there. Um, within um, Within this correction, I think, uh, as I said, you've got a series of lower highs on the hourly chart, which certainly suggests that uh, on a very near-term basis, you should be selling into strength. Um, and as I said, you could you could see a correction further within this band, back towards the, the uh, below one, uh, sorry, below 1340, perhaps even towards the low 1330s. Anyway, with the um, the uh, momentum indicators uh, in this correction are in now in um, bearish configuration on the hourly chart. Um, the MACD lines didn't even get anywhere near the neutral line before. They have now just turned lower again, so that suggests downside pressure is remaining on this chart. But certainly, I think um, on the daily chart, we need to be watching out for this 1343.21 day moving average, which uh, has been so often used as the basis of support. Anyway, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Um, this could have uh, in, uh, the uh, FOMC meeting to do tonight could certainly have uh, an impact on this chart. Certainly, if uh, dollar strengthens on the back of that, dollar strength usually leads to gold weakness. So just be careful of that. Anyway, I wish you good luck in your trading on gold today, and I will speak to you tomorrow. Thank you.